Hi everyone, this is Laura with Healthy Places Surviving Mental Health Stigma blog. Recently, on one of our blog posts on the Healthy Place website, I had noticed that someone had commented saying when we offer advice for fighting mental health stigma, we often offer a lot of don'ts. Don't say this, don't do that. And the person had requested that we offer some do's. So here are a few do's that I have. I have a, a few more, but I'm only going to mention two in this vlog, just for time's sake. The first one that I have is do educate yourself. Find reputable websites with valid information about uh, mental illness and maybe the specific mental illness you're looking for, and definitely read up on those. This goes for whether you are a supporter of someone with a mental illness or someone with a mental illness yourself. Educating ourselves helps to uh, give us a better understanding of what we're dealing with, and that is definitely needed when we're, we're fighting stigma. The second piece of advice I have is to listen, and this comes twofold. First, it deals with conversation. We need to listen to what each other is saying when we have conversations about mental health. This works for both um, those of us who have mental illness and those who are supporting those of us with mental illness. We often get into this tailspin of you're not listening to me and you don't understand what I'm saying, you don't know what I'm going through, but what we really need to do is stop and listen to what each other is saying so that we can gain a bit of perspective of what the other person is feeling and why they are saying what they're saying and maybe why they're not resonating with what we're trying to tell them. Um, going back to the first point on educating ourselves, this can definitely help in here, especially because then if both parties have educated themselves, we can each come from a place where we might have um, common words that we can use, common themes that we can work off of, and that'll better, um, that'll give us a better place to start when trying to have a conversation about mental illness. The second part of listening has to do with um, raising awareness for mental illness and trying to break the stigma around mental illness. This can happen in our everyday lives, but the example I'm going to use is within the internet world. So there are a lot of posts out on the internet which um, share information or say they're working to break the stigma around mental illness. But sometimes those don't always work, and I know, personally speaking, I have told someone that, hey, your post is great and I much appreciate your effort, but it's not working. And sometimes people get defensive and they say, well, at least I'm trying. And yes, that's true, like I said, your effort is very much appreciated, but sometimes the effort alone isn't enough. If you're trying something and it's not working, then you really need to uh, tweak what you're doing. Maybe it's just a change in the language or a change in your approach. And that way you can uh, find a better way to get your message across and to help break down that stigma. I have a few more pieces of advice in my full written blog for Healthy Place. The link for that will be in the uh, description below. Check that out if you uh, are interested in hearing more of uh, some do's that you can do for uh, fighting stigma. And um, all, as always, please leave us comments and let us know what you think. I know personally that I like getting feedback from people so that I know that I am reaching you guys uh, effectively and I can also get some new ideas for uh, topics to to write about and speak about from your comments. So until next time, have a great day and uh, I hope you've enjoyed my video.